Some things in life really are worth the wait. Nine and a half years to be exact. Uh, welcome to Five Good Minutes in Microsoft Dynamics. My name is Chad Carnes. I'm a solution architect with MCA Connect. And we're doing this impromptu episode because after a nine and a half year wait, we finally have the functionality we've always been hoping for. That's right, inventory value report in a grid. I know that may not sound like a big deal, but it's a huge deal because anybody who has ever dumped the inventory value report out transaction-wise to an SSRS report and had to format it, I mean, it's brutal, okay? Uh, but again, I think it actually does more than that. I really want to kind of share uh, kind of the insights and why I think something so small is so significant. Uh, I want to show you how to enable this uh, new piece of functionality. I want to show you uh, how to run the recurring job so that, you know, if you want to run a lot uh, uh, bigger uh, transaction sets, you can, and you can set those up to batch. No more SSRS, no more, no more SSRS. Um, tabular filter data that you can filter to like by an item or by a type or by a date. Uh, I can set up multiple types, like a, I can set up a, just a production one or a production whip. Um, I can export that out, okay? And here's the key thing. It's now data entity, BYOD, entity store, flat file, Power BI reporting off of the most important and significant data in all of D365. And I challenge anybody to tell me that the inventory value transaction detail is not that. That's how excited I am. There's a lot we can do with this. And I, I think it's the, in, in, uh, it's a move in the right direction. And, and I think everybody needs to understand uh, the importance of this and also the, the report going away. Uh, we're gonna see if we can do this. Uh, hopefully it won't take us nine and a half years to show you this. Uh, actually, we only get five minutes. Uh, so we're gonna go up and cue the blind squirrel clock presented by Murray Fife, the champ himself. And uh, I hope you enjoy this episode, uh, impromptu episode of Five Good Minutes in Microsoft Dynamics. All right, we're gonna go ahead and start that clock. Welcome to Five Good Minutes. Uh, we are looking at uh, something that we've been asking for nine and a half years, and depending on what version you are, are on, you may need to go to feature management. I don't have it, uh, I don't have it enabled, but I'm gonna go ahead and add the uh, inventory, uh, uh, both inventory, well, I'm gonna add both inventory grids here. So I'm gonna add the value and the aging. Okay. Before you do any of these features, please test them in a sandbox environment. Make sure you're not going to break anything else. Always good. Um, but now, in our cost management, we now have uh, two new inquiries. Okay. But I'm going to go into the old setup. So it's the same setup. Okay. Same, uh, same, same uh, set that you had for the uh, inventory value report. Okay. And I'm going to come in here and I'm going to create one that has uh, transaction level detail so you could run this uh more in summary but uh you know with the new volume of transactions and being able to run it on a batch job and it go to a temp table like i'm not nearly as afraid of this timing out or uh, uh as the transaction volume as i might have been before so i'm going to set this up to be site and warehouse uh we're going to do view we're not going to put any totals on uh we're going to summarize the physical and financial we're going to give us ourselves an average unit cost all right, we're gonna give this the details and then, or the transaction levels, okay? And and then, and basically I'm gonna give myself that beginning balance. So if I run this from 1, 1, 20, uh, 20 to now, that's gonna have a beginning balance at, at, at the end of last year, and then it's gonna have all the transaction detail uh, for this year. All right, so now I'm gonna go into this new, this new grid here. Um, and again, uh, it's not the inventory value report, Okay, it's, uh, I can also set this up to run and I can, I can batch this and run it periodically and it will run to a temp and staging table. Um, you could have, you could delete these out or, or you could have these run nightly. Uh, maybe you have, maybe it's, you know, kind of one of the ideas that, that I had was running it at three or 4 a.m. for everything to post it as of midnight last night because more than likely you're not gonna have anything post. Uh, you know, that way you know this is always as, as of uh, yesterday. All right, I'm gonna change the date here, okay? And uh, I'm gonna run, I think I got about, you know, 150,000 transactions, 160,000 transactions, okay? And it's gonna go into the batch queue here. We're gonna fast forward. Okay, I'm gonna come back here. Now you have this uh, record here. I'm gonna go view details. And now, here's the magic, right? The magic is I have all this in a tabular grid. No more formatting. But this grid is the secret to all of D365. I'm gonna filter this by item so I could see just the, uh, just the, um, uh, the activity for that item. But think about it, I can use the, um, 
reference type, I can look it up by just the invoice number or the PO number or the receipt number. This gives me um, almost everything I want to know. I can look and see uh, uh, places where my receipt and my invoice are different because my vendor is giving me the wrong pricing. Okay, there's a lot you could do with this grid, um, and now you now you make it easier for uh, a lot of other people to access. So uh, what I'm doing now is I'm uh, I'm going into the uh, I'm going into the uh, the framework and go ahead and make sure you refresh your entity list. Okay, because uh, what gets created now is a um, is an, is an inventory value uh, uh, data entity, okay? And then you can set that up to run on a, on a, uh, on a uh, import-export job, uh, BYOD. Uh, th there's a lot of different possibilities here um, and that, are, that are really exciting uh, because the, the, like, the really nice part about this is like if we could get this grid out and this data out in that format, um, we can really use it in Power BI and it's kind of the secret. Uh, it's probably one of my favorite things to report off of. Uh, and again, something small like going from an SSS report to a grid can make all the difference. And it's really what five good minutes in Microsoft Dynamics is all about.